The Virgus Show is brought to you by Spanky Stone Hearth. Casual fine dining on beautiful Rose Lake. Virgus State Bank, your locally owned community full service bank. Virgus Event Center for gatherings large or small, including weddings. Virgus Liquor Store, where all the profits profit Virgus. Make the right call. Call Hanson's, the most trusted name in plumbing and heating. Hi, welcome to the Virgus Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining me today. I'm in the beautiful home with Julie Bruhn here. Julie is a Virgus mayor. And I thought how nice it would be to, as we're starting out the new year here, get um, her perspective of how her last year has gone. And then I would like for her to um, be able to read her State of the City address. And just so that everybody kind of knows where the city of Virgus is going. So thank you, Julie, for inviting us into your home. Thank you for having me and sharing about Virgus. Right. I mean, we both love Virgus. I mean, that's pretty obvious. And so um, um, how has your last year gone as mayor? Well, it's, I have really enjoyed it. Good. You know, returning to the area just five years ago permanently, um, I've enjoyed meeting and visiting with all the people. People, some I remember from years ago growing up here and some that are new. I've enjoyed learning about all the inner works of what keeps the city going. And I've also enjoyed just being a part of keeping the city running smoothly and being a part of the decision making on how we can make Virgus better. Oh, you know, I, I just love hearing that, Julie, because um, I know that there are things happening. I mean, it, you just have to drive into town to see things happening, but you go out of town and you hear people talking about Virgus. I know. I When I've talked to people and I've went to things out of town, consistently what I hear is Virgus is special and I think we know it mm -hmm. Virgus is special and that's so great to hear it's great to hear and we get to live here right yes that's what's <laughs> even better yes it is um, well what I would like to do now is I would like to um, have you read your state of the city address okay I can do that this is an annual address that we do to just try and take a moment and reflect Mm -hmm. because it's very easy to get caught up in just feeling like, oh, there's so much to do and we don't get anything done, but there's a lot of great things mm -hmm. happening. So um, this was my address that I gave at the city council meeting um, on Tuesday evening. As I reflect on my first year as the mayor of the city of Virgus, I found myself looking back at what has been accomplished and found myself looking forward to what we yet have to achieve. So I'm framing this address as looking back and looking forward. Looking back, I'm especially grateful the city did not experience the same disruptions in 2021 as we did in 2020 with COVID. We didn't have to work from home. It was strictly Zoom. The office was closed, so we did not have that. The pandemic has, however, highlighted the importance of internet in our daily life. Mm -hmm. This was also true for the city. Um, the event center um, smart room is fully operational. Uh, we util utilize COVID relief funds to strengthen our city IT platform and support for our IT. And we've added features like a guest um, availability of internet in the back parking lot of the event center. So we've added iPads, we've added a lot of efficiencies where we aren't creating massive paper anymore. The liquor store has continued to be our strong performer, um, which is great. We're very pleased. We got a full time liquor store manager in place now that can really focus on kind of expanding and looking at our retail needs and, and doing those um, product promotions. Um, overall, all businesses reported a good year, especially in our summer months. And I think a real marker uh, when you look at what we've went through with this pandemic is we're not losing no. businesses. In fact, we're seeing the opposite. Mm -hmm. uh, the community has welcomed a new business on Main Street, uh, Lavish Loon, and we've got new commercial building um, with Summers and um, Tyler Schmidt and Jeff Sitzo. Um, adding new retail services and apartments. Uh, we've utilized tax abatement programs and we've done some other grants to really kickstart um, some of the commercial building in the city of Virgus. We're especially excited that the grocery store is coming back and we are gonna have new rental, which was priorities identified in the housing um, study that we did in 2019. So, But we are very excited for all retail and service.
services. We've completed the event center remodel and added the trail. Got completed and we're seeing nice activity um, in those areas. We've seen new projects that actually were spurheaded by private citizens. Uh, the We have the Veterans Memorial and the Pickleball Court and just more reasons to come to Vergas, um, is, which is exciting. We've sold some property on West um, Lake Street and there's new housing development being planned that it will be adjacent to that to really um, highlight it. We've ac acquired uh, the Otter Tail County Highway Department building and look forward to that acquisition to add parking in, in Vergas. And we got the comprehensive plan kicked off, which has been something very dear to me in, in um, running even during mayor is having that plan that we have a shared vision of where we want to be in the future because we know the decisions that we make today impact our future in that. Looking forward, um, we, we anticipate completion of all of those things that got started in 2021, but we know we have our challenges. Um, we, we still have COVID-19 um, fu funding that we got this year and we'll get next year. So we're really trying to look at infrastructure needs that are very costly. Uh, we know the water tower um, has repair and maintenance needs. Uh, we know our streets and sidewalks. Uh, are in need of repair. So we really need to look and prioritize some funding uh, to take care of, of those items. We also know the past plotting of land in the city has got a number of discrepancies. So we're really looking at getting right away and dedications done to fix that uh, for the city and the citizens. A priority, of course, is parking. Uh, we will, you know, I've always said the good news is we don't have parking, and it means we've got an active downtown, but the bad news is we don't have parking. <laughs> so um, from a city operations standpoint, um, you know, we've seen city ordinances and our Vergus Basic Code really needing some updates. We don't want to live on an annual budget. We want to at least have a five year so that we continue to build in those capital improvements that and capital outlays that are more costly that we can better plan for. Um, so, uh, you know, looking forward, I think it looks very bright for Vergus. I, I, there's challenges, you know, we know that. And But I'm looking forward to the results of the comprehensive plan because it, it will be a shared vision. It will be very thoughtful and purposeful from the people that live in Vergas and live or surrounding Vergas that consider Vergas their hometown. So I think it will really give us a very good roadmap um, going forward. Um, I also know what happened in 21 and what will occur in 22 is not the mayor. It is really a coordinated effort of the city staff, the council, the city organizations, the city businesses, and the residents. And it's truly been a privilege to work with everyone. Um, I know as we've talked before, when you meet with others in and outside the community, special is a common word that is used to describe Vergus. And um, so I, I tend to agree with that. And really my mindset going into 2021 is one of anticipation, hope, and optimism that Vergus will be that special place where you want to live and work and visit. Well, there you heard it, people. <laughs> That's awesome, Julie. I mean, it's just it's it's so comforting to me as a citizen of Vergas, and and I've lived here my whole life as just, just having you at the reins and and hearing all of that. Um, we both know, you know, you see it going on, but it, and things don't just happen. No, no, no. there it, it's, you know, it, it really has to be purposeful. And I, we have gotten such great ideas already as we've started some of the kickoff mm -hmm. of, of the comprehensive plan. Um, people are very creative and they have some real ideas and I can't wait to establish those goals and, and those strategic steps we can take. So tell me just a little bit more about the comprehensive plan. Um, how can people get a hold of the survey and, and what's all happening with that? Well, it should be very embedded in the community. It, um, we have it on the city website. In the city newsletter, there's actually a QR code. We're going to be having a number of events throughout the community. Uh, a big one will be with the community club on February 7th. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing an event um, down at the skating rink so that we can talk to youth. We want to hear from kids and what would keep them here and what do they like and what do they want here. So um, there's 
electronic, the digital um, surveys. We'll have paper surveys available all over and just turn them in and we'll start getting them compiled and we appreciate West Central Initiative for supporting this with us. Oh, you know that comprehensive study is going to be so important and, and, and I'm glad that you're focusing on the youth too because we you know we we got to start turning the reins over and and figure out what everybody is going to be wanting you know in the future and um, that there's plans going forward um, we want to know why they want to stay here and, and how we can keep them here absolutely it's yeah. truly a shared vision of, of Virgas. Well, I, I think, you know, I would like to um, come on with another show and start talking about that comprehensive planning. So be sure and look for that because um, I know that you have these two events coming up and there's more events that's going to go on. But, um, Julie, I just want to thank you for your time and dedication to the city of Vergas. Um, we just um, are really feeling confident about what's going on in, in the city. And I think that just comes from the leadership that's there. Thank you for having me. Yes. And you have a good day in Vergas.